Hi guys, it's Max here with DartsReviews.tv in association with DartsPlanet.tv. We've got some Windmill Diablo 2 darts. These are the parallel ones, not the torpedo shaped ones. And what can I say? You've got a standard two and sorry, one ring grip there, but it's they're nice and deep, so you get a decent grip with them by the looks of it. And they're a nice red and black colour. And so like Diablo, so you can feel a little bit devilish, I suppose. But I think we'll head over to the board, we'll have a throw, and then we'll have a review, see what we think. Okay, we're over at the table with the Diablo darts from Windmill with these devil horns on the box and very demonic -y swirls in the background. We've got the Windmill at the top and the logo. And we've got the Steel Tip 22 gram darts with the window showing them there with the bright red, blood red showing through the window in the dart point holder. A little window there showing the stems over on the back. We had a picture of the different types of darts. Obviously, we got the parallel dart here today. Diablo with the horns again. And we've got tungsten content, which is 90%. It's got a very dynamic grip, as you can see in the picture. It's metallic coating, so it's a metallic coating. I'd say it's more of a blood red, personally. And obviously, they're match weighted to 0 0.05 grams, so they're nicely evenly weighted. So they should flow fairly straight and true each time you throw them. Obviously, windmill down here and a little bit of safety information as well. But we'll get the darts out and have a look. There we go. And here we are, we've got the phone insert from Windmill with its etched in logo. Obviously the three darts going into the point holder. And we've got the Vector stems, these are the short ones. And the Diablos flights, these are the prism flights. They're really standing out, almost like devil horns or tails printed on them there. But we'll have a look at the actual dart itself. Get one out. Right, and here we go the standard matte black dart point going into this conical ball nose at the front and then straight into this blood red ringed grip this is really sort of wide milled grips going into like a single section in the middle and then into a like a twin ring gripped section with a black line in so it's alternating from a single to a twin ring and it's sort of like a very conical sort of cut it's not a square cut it's very conical sort of like very reminiscent if you think of the um the taper and the groove of a pure script almost and this goes all the way back say three quarters of the dart before we have the smooth section here with the windmill logo etched in and then we've got a little bit more of the grip there with one, two singles and one twin ring. So you've got a section there to throw at the back or you've got the main section there for throwing. It's I can feel the grooves cut out. So it's a nice even grip through the dart there. Um, obviously, um, if you've watched videos in the past, you know, I tend to hold my dart around this area where the smooth section is, but I'm quite happy to move forward on this one. It feels nice. It's a nice parallel dart, center, weight, center weighted, I should say. So it's going to fly true. These darts here, the 22 gram are 6.35 millimeters wide and a lovely 50.8 millimeters long. Obviously, these are the 90% tungsten ones, so it's a nice, it's like sturdy weight, and they're not going to be too thin or thick, which is really good. I'm looking forward to getting these over to the board and having a throw. And obviously, this blood red Diablo colour is sort of like, might bring some demonic inspiration, I think. But let's go over to the board and have a throw, and then we'll have a little review. Okay, we're over the board. We've got the Diablo parallel darts. They come in a few different shapes. But a uh, nice single and twin ring grip there at the front and at the back. Demonic red and black with the horns or tails on the flights. Bit of demonic inspiration instead of divine inspiration, I suppose. But uh, we'll have a couple of practice throws, see how we get on with them, make sure we sort of zero in. Then go into our 201 practice routine, see how many darts we can do it in, try and keep it under nine. I like these darts, nice width, nice length. This is sort of start I all throw with. So let's see how we get on.
Nice steady tongue there to start with, nice and straight, good grouping. Always like a good tongue. And another steady tongue, tongue tongues, we like tongues. Right, I think we'll get into our 201 practice routine. Game on. Oh, steady tongue again, 100. 101 left to get. Oh, in the wrong double. Double nine left to get, 18 left. 73 scored. And in one dart. Last dart was the 18. What can I say? I was a little unlucky there hitting the wrong double. I thought that was going to be a nice six starter, but I'm happy with seven. Got the double nicely. Felt really good, comfortable dart to throw with. Like I said, it's something I'm used to throwing with, having a straight, sort of like thin dart. But uh, I think we'll go and have a review on these. Okay, well we had a throw, I think I've done all right. Seven darts, started off with a steady ton, finished on the double, first dart on the next throw. Seven darts, I think I'll win the majority of my league games with that, but the uh, main thing is, these are only 39.95, that's a fantastic price point, especially as they're 90% tungsten as well. And they're gonna be a consistent release for a lot of people. You can throw from the front, the back, the middle, and it's a, the grip goes the whole way so whether you move your fingers front or back if you're changing your throw you're going to get the same sort of feel in your fingers um i gave them a 2.5 grip rating um not the grippiest of darts but even me with my hard callous fingers they fit in nicely with the grooves and i got a nice steady release which is always a good thing and obviously center weighted as well so they flow nice and level and well main thing is if you think you agree with me or disagree with me or maybe you just want to leave a comment head over to youtube or download the app from dartsreviews.tv and let us know what you think and always tick notifications and tick subscribe because we've got loads of reviews coming up in the future from loads of different darts manufacturers even windmill and maybe there's something that will take your fancy but come back and check them out bye